are you serious are you serious the day of rage failed <laughs> it failed looks like the day of prayer wins again uh, and that's why the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Matter of fact, Heidi had a special Rachel's heart the night before in which she said, reject the rage. We had a, a wonderful crowd showed up online. She brought a great uh, message forward. Seven people accepted Jesus Christ as their savior that in that broadcast live in the chat room. And the day of rage is dead on arrival. Are you serious? Matter of fact, according to Russia Today, police departments nationwide anticipated the day of rage uh, protest following, of course, the announcement by an account claiming to be representative of the hacker group Anonymous. It called for 36 cities to participate in a response to the killings of civilians by police. Those two situations that was caught on videotape Despite the passion and the compassion shown in recent days and weeks by people taking to the streets over the uh, incidences, uh, and despite the fact, folks, that five police officers were shot and killed, 11 wounded, uh, 11 shot totally, five died in Dallas, Texas, the day of rage failed and did not materialize on Friday. Um, instead, uh, there's a contingent of protesters. LGBT activists took to the streets of New York City in solidarity, uh, also with the Black Lives Matter, also uh, at one point chanting Stonewall was a riot. Um, um, I'm not even going to repeat what they just, they, they just printed here. I'm not going to repeat what they were saying. About 30 protesters rallied out, 30, I said, I'll say that again, about 30. 30 protesters rallied outside of Stonewall Inn, first national monument dedicated to LGBT rights. And so basically they were supposed to pull all these different groups, radical groups that like to um, protest. And a lot of them are paid by George Soros. And so they were trying to pull everybody together for this one day of rage, but it never materialized. Just the LGBT people kind of showed up and a few Black Lives Matter, not many of them. And this thing just kind of fell apart. There was no, also no day of rage protest happening anywhere in south of Los Angeles. Uh, in, in Oakland, however, there was some who showed up with some messages trying, uh, trying to tie in the Black Lives Matter movement. And they were calling for a day of rage, but it wasn't, it wasn't real significant there in Oakland. And um, uh, this, this day of rage was uh, organized, it came on July 9th in a YouTube video by an anonymous message. The authentic authenticity of the video could not be verified. And um, this thing died, it's, it's dead on arrival. The Dallas Police Department, which was on high alert following last week's sniper attack that left five officers dead, prepared for Friday's protest despite one not being confirmed in Dallas, even though Dallas wasn't on the list, they still prepared it. The list had Austin, Texas instead of Dallas. Also, um, local businesses in Lafayette Square down in New Orleans uh, were advising employees to go home early, stay out of trouble. The New Orleans Police Department was, was ready. Everybody was ready. And there was no day of rage. And thank God there wasn't. Thank God there wasn't. Because we've already had enough rage. And with the massacre in Nice, France, 84 dead and 200 wounded. And with the coup attempt in Turkey, 161 dead and that death toll will rise. 1,440 wounded and 2,800 arrested for treason. We don't need a day of rage. This, this nation is already unstable. Look at the Middle East and the madness there. Look at Europe and NATO troops and Russian troops on the move. The last thing we need is a day of rage in America. So praise God. It was a day of salvation and a day of prayer. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. We're truly living in the last days.